Is it true that if you're a spiritual person who has an active spiritual practice, you will never get depressed? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author, depression counselor, and depression survivor. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we present practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. The title of today's video is, Do Spiritual People Get Depressed? But of course, we have to start out with our regular joke. And the joke is, what did the guru say to the hot dog salesman? Make me one with everything. Okay, then the hot dog salesman gave back the hot dog, or gave it to him, and the spiritual uh, guru said, where's my change? The salesman says, don't you know, change comes from within. The other day, I received a phone call from a group member named Claire. I had been staying in touch with Claire for many years after she'd graduated from the group, and she was always doing well. But this day, it was not the case. Uh, Claire was actually going through a dip, and there were two reasons for this. One, she had just visited her family in the East Coast, and when she came back to Portland, she really, really missed them. Uh, the second thing that happened was that there was a change of her finances, and she was afraid she might lose her home. And since Zoloft had helped her in the past, she said, maybe I'll go back on it. Earlier that day, Clara had consulted her Buddhist spiritual teacher and asked for his advice. His reply was, well, first will it be one pill and then another? Pretty soon you'll be full of pills. Why don't you just take your upsetting thoughts and imagine there are clouds passing in the sky, and as they pass, you'll let them go, and soon you'll feel just fine. I asked Clara, how do you feel when he said that to you? She said, I didn't feel validated at all. He didn't seem to understand that sometimes medication can help bring the brain back into balance, just like insulin can help a diabetic. And he implied something else I didn't like. He implied that if I took medication, I was spiritually weak. This kind of misunderstanding is not just confined to Eastern spirituality. There's a book I really like called A Joy I've Never Known, written by Jan Dravecki. She's the wife of the famous baseball star, uh, Dave Dravecki, for those of you who follow baseball. Anyway, she belonged to a Christian church, and she went into a deep depression. When she told her churchgoers, they, they responded in this way. They said, well, Jan, you know, the reason you're depressed is you're not praying hard enough. If you had faith in God, uh, you don't have enough faith in God. That's the problem. And if you did have faith in God, you wouldn't be depressed. So just pray harder. So let's take a look at this idea. Is it true that being spiritual gives you immunity from depression? Nothing can be further from the truth. There were so many examples, I don't even know where to start. But let's begin with Bill Wilson, one of my heroes, one of the greatest healers of the 20th century, the co-founder of Alcoholics Anonymous. Bill was healed from alcoholism or stopped drinking after he had a spiritual revelation. And of course, AA is founded on spiritual principles. And yet, he could never overcome the dark depressions that plagued him until the end of his life. Then, of course, there's the great mystic St. John of the Cross, who coined the term dark night of the soul to describe the travails he went through. Uh, the same can be said for the Catholic St. Teresa of Alvala and even St. Francis of Assisi, who suffered from a profound case of PTSD after being in a war and seeing many of his friends killed, and he was actually held for one year in captivity as a prisoner of war himself. Finally, many years ago, I was living in Findhorn, a spiritual community in northern Scotland. While I was there, I met an amazing man named Sir George Trevelyan. I'll never forget the look in his eyes. It was such wisdom and compassion. And I said to one of his colleagues, how did he get that way? It's very simple, the colleague said matter-of-factly. Sir George has been to hell and back. So the moral of the story is clear. If you are on a spiritual path and you suffer from depression, don't feel guilty. You're not spiritually deficient. You're not spiritually weak. And rather than see your depression as a weakness, why don't you frame it as a, reframe it as a, as a test, because in mythology, many heroes, or mostly all heroes, had to pass some sort of test or you know get over some sort of major hump in order to be successful, in order to complete their story. So uh, you know you can think of yourself as, as someone who's trying to pass this test of overcoming depression. As my math teacher used to say, the best students get the hardest problems because it does take a lot of courage and bravery to face what you're facing, just like it takes courage and bravery for a hero to pass their tests. I would like to end with some final words for those of you who still think that it's not spiritual to be depressed. In his book called Scattershot, My Bipolar Family, David Lovelace writes the following. 
I take a low dose of lithium nightly. I take an antidepressant for my darkness because prayer isn't enough. I know plenty of potheads who sermonize against pharmaceutical companies. I know plenty of born-again yoga instructors, plenty of missionaries who tell me I'm wrong. They don't have a clue. This has been Douglas Block. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. If you have any questions uh, for me, you can email me, douglasblog at gmail.com, or simply leave your comments in the comments section. If you want to subscribe to this channel, which I hope really uh, you will do, uh, you simply can uh, click on the subscribe button, uh, or actually click on my photo that's coming up right now. You'll be taken to my subscribe page, and you can click on that button. And if you want to support this uh, channel, becoming a sustaining member for as little as $2 a month, simply uh, click on the image of Patreon, and you'll be taken to that site. And of course, you can always visit my website, healingfromdepression.com. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you so much for watching.